And that's why Kane is the best character in Final Fantasy IV. Oh, hey, everyone! I didn't see you there! <laughs> <laughs> well, good, I... e good evening. Uh, I'm Neon Gray. My name is Xenocat. And uh, we are here to uh, bring to you this uh, race we've all been waiting for for several days. Uh, Pancras versus Zaldi. And uh, Zaldi's a little blurry today. Uh, oh well. Uh, good thing I got new glasses coming. How are you doing, Xenocat? I'm doing well. Uh, not sure I agree with you on the Kane point, but uh, Kane's fine. But today's seed will be all about that Palom hero that Zaldi showed us very briefly. Yes. And I see now that we are quite well shocking people about the, the true nature of the Grimace. Because, yeah. Sometimes you just need a little cursed knowledge to spice up your day. It's true. And, uh, yeah. Looking at these objectives here, uh, should be fun. Uh, I know Baron Castle is not the most popular of checks, because it's quite lengthy, and then there's Kainatso there. Often ugly. Yeah, Kainatso could be extremely rude if he's at a high HP location, but, uh, if Kainatso's not at a high HP location, not too bad. That's how most bosses are, really. Um, yeah, Kainatso's just extra bad at high HP locations. It's true, because that wave that he does is something like 2 to 4% of his current hit points. Yeah. So if he's somewhere big, that's going to You know hurt. what I want? I, I want what I want to see. Kainazo into Wyvern Giant. That's the good stuff. K please. Kainazo into Wyvern Giant. Or or Kainazo into, De into Require Demus Giant, but... I I'd rather Kainazo into Wyvern. is better because... And by which I mean worse. Yes. Because that is an extremely high magic spot. Yes, but we are off. Uh, Palum is joined by Rosa, which is fantastic as a second character. We're given a Luka key by Octomam. Oh, I'm a little behind them. Let me just reload this here. Oh, I know why. Let's pull this up here. There we go. Got that looking good right here. Perfect. Love to see a Luka key start because. Nobody wants that. Yeah, no, it, it's the one key item that everyone's like, yeah, no, I don't want this. I don't want to go down there. It's yeah. long. It's slow. You have access to it as soon as you get underground now. Have fun. Yeah, it's like, you know, you get a mid game, I'll be like, yeah, I'm not thrilled, but, you know, it, it's a key item. Uh, this, it's. This it's is not true. helpful. It's not helpful right now. But I, I mean, it's better than a cabin. <laughs> a cabin gives you hit points. The Luka key will take them away from you. This is true. Not much of interest uh, being found in that left tower that I could see. Of, yeah, uh, no. Evelyn. Didn't seem like there was much there at all. Evelyn has been very swingy to me on these on the spot these flag sets. Uh, sometimes there's great stuff there. Other times, you get you get medium good stuff. Yeah, you get an assassin it, dagger. That's um. It, that's just, tier five. Yeah. That's not bad. It, it's just uh not not the tier five that you want. Yeah, Ooh, like a, a spicy wizard shirt. That's better than nothing. That that's probably not the bosses all they wanted to see at that waterfall spot. Uh, not at all. That's uh that's free on a spot you don't have to do. Yeah, no, that is that is one of our free bosses. 
out of the picture. And it does look like Pancras is going to go back in and grab that wizard shirt, as well as the diamond shield and the Dragoon armor. Uh, both of those will sell for quite, or Dragoon glove, sorry. Both of those will sell for quite a bit of money, and then hits monsters immediately and has to reset. That distribution means I think he's just gonna leave. Okay. Not worth it to go back in there. Uh, I might uh, take that as an opportunity to look in the uh, the middle tower now, with uh, two of those out of the way. Because uh, you still get the elevated uh, loot there, but... Yeah, um, I mean, I could but... definitely see that. But also, th this is Palom and Rosa we're talking about. Yeah, like, there's nothing too urgent, like... I... Wizard shirt's nice, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's another Rosa. So and... there's no character there. And, uh, hey, look, it's, uh, Water Hag. I, gu I guess we're gonna take this for experience. Yeah, I mean, that's great for Palum. Uh, yeah. He'll get, uh, at least one of his, uh, level two spells. Yeah, I think at this spot you should get all three of them. Yeah, I which think is so. fantastic yeah. to get this team off the ground. Yeah. Meanwhile, Zalde is heading into Antlion. Good spot and, for Bygan. Yeah, not definitely not a bad spot for Bygan. And found a Stardust, I think, in Damsian, which will help a lot here. Yeah, that should take care of Bygan. Not quite. Almost. One Thanks, Rosa. For Rosa. The best character. I appreciate that uh, Zelda's names are currently telling us to be hero. Yeah, I mean, it's in. Oh, look, it's the darkness crystal. I was gonna say that's encouraging, and then I saw something that is very encouraging. Yeah, um, we can we can totally max giant this team, right? Yeah, let's do it right now. Yeah, j no, just, just scenes right over. Now. Let's let's just go max giant. The two bosses are definitely going to be both in the giant, as yeah. we discussed. And, yeah. and then you just have to do Cave Bahamut and find the Baron key on the moon. Yeah. I, I see no problems. Yeah. Zoli taking that swap and gonna go get the news about the Water Hag and the Rosa. Well, Pancras is going to get the news about Bygan. Chip him down a little bit, probably before launching a nice spell there. It doesn't look like Pancras has the J items that Zelda has, so it's going to have a little bit slower of an early uh, fight here. Yeah, so really he's got he's he's got basically one cast on the main body. So yeah, he's bluffing now. Wants to make sure that counts. Yep, gotta, gotta make sure that you're gonna fluff up just a bit to make sure it does enough damage, but also don't want to fluff up, spend too much time bluffing, because then that's just turns that you're spending bluffing instead of doing damage. Yeah, and sometimes you only do 299 damage with your spell. And sometimes Palin goes punching. And it's he, fine. Yeah, like he's, he's a small boy, I've heard that's a thing they do. Yeah. We don't we don't all have to have weapons here. Yeah. I mean m maybe he wants to be like Yang. Yeah. He's just doing his best Yang imitation. He he wants to learn from he wants to learn the art of being a punch mage. It's true. I mean, look Thunderclaw. Go on, go on, Pelham, let's strap that on. Yeah! About to figure out who, who that moon character is. Are they good or are they bad? There's no bad characters, that's just mediocre characters. Okay, our, our Mac Giant plan has changed to D-Money. 
guess so. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this it, this is perfect. Just just find literally anyone else or any two other characters, and then and then D machine. Yeah, I mean, D machine gets the job done. Uh. I mean, you're gonna have to get up more deals, but that's increasingly easy. Gotta get a peep down at, uh, who's waiting for us in Cape Bahamut. Could be Wyvern, could be Kainazo, could be Demist. It could be something boring, like, I don't know, Calbreda. Could be something super rude, like the Dark Imps. Indeed, the cave Bahamut's Cave of Values is a cave of wonders. There's a also some decent loot here, except it wasn't that great. It was this time. Okay. Ooh. Oh, well, that's some knowledge. Oh. We we have found Kenazo. That is that is hard required. Yeah. Um. That's not the giant. Um, it's not the most hit points on the board, but it's also a significant it, it, amount of hit points. It's a good 35,000-ish, I think. Yeah, like, it, uh, that would hurt, and his punches are gonna oh, hurt. Those punches are going to hurt so much. So yeah, let, let's just D-machine right now. I, I, for one, think that if you are going to go D-machine, you should make sure that Tilla has weak first. Uh, yes, that is a good point. Yeah, it's fine. Let's, we'll do Mac Giant instead, even though... No, I... That's entirely silly. There are other objectives that exist in the seed. Yeah, that, that, that only takes care of two of them. A maximum of two of them, no less, because there are no key items in uh, Cave Bahamut today. Yes. Oh, hey, we have friends. Welcome, everyone, from Free Enterprise. Do not spoil the race that happened there. Uh, we've just stumbled across a double-required Cave Bahamut. And if you're wondering uh, what us might be required that's there, well, it could be Wyvern, could be Kainatso. It's Kainatso, who is by far the worst of the two options to find a Cave Bahamut, I personally think. Is okay, the Hobbit? Not much of the way of magic there. Yeah, although Wyvern, after that initial witch burn, doesn't care about the stats of the spot. We'll just use uh, its normal stats. Yeah, yeah, that's true. At least for the spell casting, it cares about the the other, well, just the agility really. That's the only other other stat that matters. I think, and defense stats, I suppose. Yeah, and the agility there is... Eh. Like, it's not super long, I don't think. The antlion has decided to take a vacation and, uh, visit Fabul. I don't think the antlion is feeling well. Like, I... I haven't seen the antlion at home all week. Why, yeah. why is this antlion on Earth and not the moon? It's on vacation! Is it though? I, I it is vacationing in Pabul. It's fine. I, I mean, if you look at the one on the right, he, he looks unwell. This is true. Uh, so sorry, Pancras. Weak is not going to work on Antlion. I mean, oh. Are, are we going to see some, some daring recall strats on, on Diva Sheets? Oh my. That would no. be exciting. It, it would be incredibly exciting. It would be the worst idea in Free Enterprise history. Uh, even worse than the one time I once saw Pancras. Uh, grind to take a required um, dwarf castle uh, by using the stone man trap chest in battle. 
recall grind would be worse than stone man grind. I, I mean, I don't disagree. J just save scum. If you don't get uh, 12 recall weeks in a row, are you even doing it right? It's true. It's true. But now we've got a twin harp. Hooray, another check that a lot of runners like to fade. That's true, and I mean, it is a, it is a check that you often really don't want to take because it's, you know, it's time-consuming. Yeah, that's, it's long. That's pretty much it. There's but... no character there. There's no... There's only one boss there. It's less sort of valuable than Zot or Baron Castle would be for those reasons. Yeah, and it's a, a boss with really high magic defense, so that can be, and, can and be so, a lot of parties. Yeah, columns kind of are, are only damage right now. Yeah, but, but so... I, for one, respect the hard work that both you and Calm Lamity put in, and I'm going to say that we should go to music right now. I'm okay if we don't go to music right now. But I think we should go to music soon. Okay. I think we can let them do ordeals first. Okay. <laughs> and maybe Baron in. But what if there's somebody who hits things on Baron in? We can't have that. This is true. I want to see Pelham punch the boss at Twin Harp to death. <laughs> well, it does look like both of our runners are heading up Mount Ordeals. Pancra is doing a little more shopping before climbing up this mountain, whereas Zelda not getting quite as much in terms of preparation. But that did give Zelda back that time, because I believe Zelda was a little behind out of the Fabul fight. Yeah, and, you know, this has been really close so far. Um, like, the, the, they're pretty much all on the same route, and uh, part of it's that we haven't really seen much of the way of divergence, uh, alternate key item routes to go, but, um, you know, it's nice to see them. We're getting nearly simultaneous checks at this Mylon spot. It's yeah. free. Uh. The king and queen of Eblin are going to ramble at us about how they want uh to send us to the Hades. Then they're gonna fail to send anyone to the Hades. Yeah, this party, I think, um... I, I think it is faster just to wait it out, um... Yeah, the king here has, I believe, uh, about 1,400 hit points. Yeah, so for the... most parties, yeah. A bit too much for Rosa to do on her own. Yeah. And... and yeah, we see Pancras getting through the fight already, whereas Zelda, who has been taking attacks, just now takes out the king. Yeah, those extra animations can actually just violate the fight. Oh, that's ugly. Oh my goodness. The rudeness. <laughs> One of the worst uh, back attack spots you can get. Mega yeah, um, Sisters. Rip Palum. <laughs> we, we do have mute arrows, so this is fine. Ish. It's fine. We are gonna. Um, I, I think the goal here is oh, to keep everybody RNG. up. Ooh. Bad RNG there. Looks like Zelda is willing to burn this grimoire if uh, it can get off. Nope. Oh. And that does use the grimoire too. 
Yeah, because if it got queued up, um, it will be consumed. Um, and I think he he did have long enough to queue it up. Yeah. Uh, good news for Zelda. Mindy is down. Or is, yeah, Mindy is down. Yeah, so he can take a bit of time to get uh, some more W targets up. Also, uh, Rosa surviving with five hit points. Unfortunately, you're on a clock. But taking... That's a good call. Taking out Sandy. Um, among other things, she's the big source of wall. Uh, but wall is still on Sandy. The item they guard is in fact the hook. Oh boy. So this may be required to do now-ish. Yeah, this this is problem. This might be logical underground access. Oh, hi, CPU. Speaking of bosses that are fun for Palum. Hey. Wow. Pancras outspeeds it, though. Does a little and... dance just to show off. Yeah, that could have been real bad if that wall had gotten up. Yeah, and Zoli wipes, so he has to take down take down the uh, king and queen again. Oof. Yeah, we'll see if he sa decides to save after this king queen, knowing the rudeness that is come awaiting on the back attack of this bridge. I think you have to once you know. Yeah, he, he's realized too that it is just faster to uh, to sit and wait. Yep. But meanwhile, Pancras has escaped Mount Ordeals with Tella online, hook in hand. We'll see where he goes from here. He, I mean, he could go to the moon right now, do a D machine. There's what also the there's hook route. Edge? What if there's edge on the hook? Uh, the hook route is probably the better play. There are also the Baron Inn and uh, Cave Magnus checks. Edge won't be there. Well, yeah, edge won't be there, but we can take two characters into this party. I suppose if you want to play well. Also, Ooh. it's Cecil. And Golbez. Just just having a chat in Baron. As you do. Who are we to interrupt this family reunion? And he's taking it. Um I mean, we know this isn't logical underground access, but that doesn't matter because we found the hook logically. Yeah, so the magma key could be there. As long as Wyvern and Val Valis are not in that hook route. And yeah, Pancras has decided I'm going to set up some status effects. Yeah, like this fight will be very quick once the cutscenes are over. Uh, and I'm sure Zoldy can't know it, but I'm, I'm sure he's very much actually appreciating the time that he's getting here by uh, having this cutscene fight going on. Yeah, although Zaldi did just take another unfortunate wipe to the Maga sisters, who are, again, really rude. Really rude back attack. Yeah, this is a horrible fight. Um, I think this is actually what a if one of if not the worst bosses to see at the back attack. Yeah, I, I I think so. Just because it's a spot that you're going to be at quite early, as we can see here, um, and it is absolutely nasty, nasty, nasty. And normally I'd be opposed to somebody just continuing to ram themselves at a fight like this, uh, but. We don't, even if Soli doesn't, he doesn't have any good options right now. 
Like, if, if I were him, I'd be thinking, oh, maybe I should go do Baron Inn. Uh, I don't know what's gold is there yet. Yeah. And this is Sura? Gonna want that wool. Uh, the Elven yeah. Bow on Rosa is gonna help, but you're gonna... She's not gonna do enough damage for you to not need that wall on her. May may also want to blink, but uh, Tancro is deciding no. The best best defense is a good offense, and, and goodbye Palin. I I oh I see. I think he's going for the life lock here. Oh yeah, that makes sense because he's really good at menu-y stuff that is involved in life locking. So where if you're bad at it, like I am, you can't even tell when somebody's setting that up. Tank is good there. at this game. Unfortunate low roll on that, uh... Yeah. Oh, that Grimoire! Nice try, but... No. Oh, sh this, this is Sura. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Less than 200 hit points left. Oh no, no. Oh my goodness, this is, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is... wow. She's so mean. Yep. It was like... Yeah, I'm gonna let you deal me... deal... get me down to like 180 hit points left, and then I'm just gonna casually heal myself back to my full 4,000. Shiva on this Grimoire for Zelda might actually do some work. Uh, that's enough to get Mindy down. Yeah, that'll give him enough time to life up the rest of his team, so that's better than nothing. Yeah, and I believe uh, the damage that it dealt to Cindy and Sandy should be enough that Rosa can one-shot Cindy now. Ancrez is through on the Asura. Gets his vessel. And a package. I mean, that package could be another character. Maybe it's that edge. Is he going to check that? This is a very good question. It's a slow check, and uh, we, we do have a pretty solid party. And we already have another advanced check, uh, character check, on the hook row, so... Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of things pulling us towards package. Although I swear, if it's Demis at package with the Baron key and uh, half of Forge is in the Baron base, is in Baron, I am going to laugh so hard. Oh, well, we're going to see who's in Miss Cave. That's Dr. Lovage. No one we need to deal with. Oh look, it's Tella. Oh, yeah, that is not Edge. No. That's the opposite of Edge, really. Yeah, that, that is that is kind of... That, that is a non-character. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna go pop that uh, hovercraft while uh, Zaldi still struggles with these Mega Sisters. Yeah, unfortunately, these Mega Sisters are just extremely rude here. Yeah, it is. Again, this is one of the worst worst encounters that free enterprise can generate. Um... Yes, this is, I think, Val Valis is the only thing at this back attack spot that might even come close to this fight. And that's mostly just because of her, uh, 
full physical defense and magical defense in her tornado super early on. Yeah, and you know, people can talk up other spots, like say, Vanilla Ruby, Kainatsu at Ruby, uh, any number of physical bosses at Leviathan, but you wouldn't think it, but this is, this fight is up there with those. It's an early spot, but it's, it is incredibly hard at any point when you want to do it. There's yeah. light swords and samurai bows. This is not good for Zaldi. Oh gosh, Zaldi, no, no. Tella, don't Tella. you dare. That's it, you're out of the family. Oh no. Wow. Oh no. Oh look, it's Rydia. I, I think we're doing a DoD machines. I also guess a so. sparkle. Yeah, it looks like he's uh Zaldi is opting to use one of his sirens here, which uh, I cannot say I blame him on. Yeah, get these uh, fights on Mount Ordeals are actually worth quite a decent amount of experience. Yeah, like fifty five hundred at the point where you're going to be doing these fights is that's significant. And yeah, this I is think... the point where, you know, you want these extra hit points more than anything else. Yeah, one more fight actually would get uh, Zaldi Virus on Palum, which would be, honestly, this, uh, which would be really huge, but the extra hit points are definitely useful as well. Although, I think one spell will still one-shot anyone on this team. Yeah, the, the other thing, too, is you, you can re-roll your Grimoire, um, because there's, it may not be as much of a thing because there's so many, uh, actors in this fight but you you know you if you need to do it across resets you're, you gotta jiggle the rng sub yeah so pulling a fight with a siren is a good way of doing that uh grimoire time that's not gonna do it <laughs> That is not what you want to see there. Yeah, like this is... Like, yeah, th th this is honestly where what I would do would be to, you know, just load up, turn on encounters, take an encounter. Yeah, he's just leaving. Unfortunately, uh, Golvez is not going to be pleasant either. Honestly, the the Asura is going to be the real roadblock there, without the, uh... The, ooh, yeah. With, with, without having Tella's full spell set? Yeah. We still have Blink. Yeah, I guess so. Elven Bow Muteros, it's, it's fine. Is it? It, it? It's sort of fine. It's not really fine. Uh, I... This is the sort of fine that I expect when I am looking at a small dog sitting in a room that's on fire. Yeah, that, that, that's the kind of fine that we're, we're dealing with. Also, it looks like Pankraz is not planning on diving the hook route. I know, makes sense. Looks like he was getting his cash uh, from doing that, and then... You know, uh, probably going to go and uh, take a look at that. Uh... Zaldi is a little bit freaking out, I think. Yeah. Uh, this can't feel good seeing a Cecil here, knowing that, hey, the Cecil's not a paladin yet. And that's a Golbez. A log, log Golbez. It does look like Pancras found a lightsaber in Eblin Cave, just lying around for free. He's buying ethers now. I think I know what he's doing. I mean... This this is the logical thing to do, I think. Yeah, honestly, it is, really. We've only got five key items so far. The Twin oh. Harp is such a long check. Oh, and you know what? 
levels now are always better than levels eventually. Yes. This party is set. We've got a lightsaber, Cecil. We have Palum. We have Rydia. We have Rosa. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No reason not to just go for it right now. And poor Zaldi. He's just struggling against what this seed is throwing at him. Yeah. This seed has been extremely rude. Uh, looks like it's checking. Zirk, yeah. For Zerkdale actually making a really good suggestion in chat, which would be to try to reaction grind. Like, if you can go up to the moon and try and pull a couple of those fights, um, mm. that would be a great idea, honestly. Yeah, it might be challenging, although Zaldi just found a curse string in a shop. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, but I'm not sure it solves any of the current problems. It, it could make the reaction grind more viable. That's true, yeah. But you need, you need more money for it. I think you might have to get rid of that. Yeah, that Aegis Shield has to go. And, you know, you're never happy about that, but, you know... It, yeah, it doesn't feel good, but if it's... The curse ring might be more useful. Looks like he is now heading back up. Hmm, gonna try cursing Palum to make Rosa and Tella faster. That will get his mage killer moving faster, which will help a lot. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Pancras, I believe, has found the D-Machine fight. Yeah, I think so. And like, it, uh, this it, is going to be a fun slingshot on Cecil and Rydia. Look, if if you're going to slingshot two characters, uh, I cannot imagine two better characters to be slingshotting. Yeah, we're going to probably have a very, very high level Cecil. Yeah, and certainly we'll have enough cash after that to get his... Um, to get that light sword for sale in Eblan Cave. Oh no, he doesn't need one. He found one in a random chest in Eblan. Oh, well then, even better. Yeah, no need to go back there. I mean, unless that's the only way on the ground. Well, yeah, but... Why would you go underground at this point? I mean, probably to check the sparkle at Ruby to see if it's Wyvern. Yeah, I mean... You know, you might have to. Like, what if you went from here up to the moon and then you found... I don't know... Forge. But not Baron Key. This, this is true. Forge does require underground access. And that Grimoire roll from Anzaldi's side... Not the one you're hoping to see, but should be enough to try and keep the fight moving. I got, with that, uh, with Rose's help, uh, got rid of Mindy. Yeah, and that is very huge. Uh, to answer question chat, the difference maker for Pancras on ordeals was partially luck, partially a little bit of extra experience from sitting through water hag on Mount Hobbs. Yeah, he was a little bit higher level, so I think he had Virus by now, or if yeah. not, he had it by the end of this fight. I think he got it at the end of this fight, but he had... his Rosa was able to one-shot Cindy. Yeah. Which helped a lot. Yeah, but so... Zelda is through now. Finally through! Yay! <laughs> My cat is very impressed because she would not have been able to do that fight. I mean, you'll, you'll just have to take my word for it, but she's right here and she's watching and she's impressed. I mean, that fight is rude. 
It is. Take, take it from the person who bum rushed ordeals every seed in ZZ3. Yeah, like again, that that is one of the worst encounters you could get uh, in free enterprise. I, I learned very quickly what the bad encounters are on Mount yeah. Ordeals for a very very low level party. Yeah, like that was bad. And like, that is a bad encounter. Getting yeah, through that at all. Is... The, I think the four bosses that ever made me turn back were Maga Sisters, Valvalis, Bygen, and Odin. Yeah, yeah, I know that makes sense. Th those are the only bosses that ever made me turn back. And I think maybe Ogopogo, like, one time when I only had mages, but... Yeah, and, and yeah. I mean, if, if you know, if, if you've got a Yang with a Thunderclaw, that Odin is not a problem at that spot. But, again, there's always circumstances that make things easier, like, if, yeah. if you've got an edge with nothing but you knives equipped, Mega Sisters are easier. Yeah. Uh, other notable honorable mentions are Leviathan and Plague, who are quite rude. Yes. Back attack if you're not set up properly, but uh, they, they can work, do work, and uh, now is all they gets to deal with the joy that is solo Palin versus CPU. Yeah, it is not a fight you really want to encounter. Oh no. You can't hit the broadside of a bard. Hooray! Short bows are not good. Yes, Don't short use short bows. bows. Not good. Zelda, please tell me you saved after the Maga Sisters fight. I... I hope so. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll move that battle speed up just a hair. Oh, thank goodness. Oof. This should be much easier now. Yes. Palum has, like, a real bow and real arrows. Yeah. But I guess, uh... Honestly, this is like one of the rudest bosses that could have been seen in this mirror room. Yeah, Palin. like, look, I, I think this is the one, one of the hardest bosses I've seen pop up on a... Val, a I think, would here. be slightly ruder. But only just. And Val would prevent the hook from being here, assuming that's logical underground access, so... Hey, what did you just do, Zaldi? Uh, <laughs> That, I, I I think that might have been a miss menu. I I, I think so. I don't I don't think Zelda wanted the globe one nine nine. I I I assume not. <laughs> oh, I see. Possum inputs are not buttons. Get off of him. Stop eating the inputs, possum. Because they go through a button doesn't mean they are a button. Yes. No. P please, please restrain yourself to eating buttons. On the plus side, this is all time when uh, Pancras is not proceeding towards go mode. Yeah. Well, I mean, in, in a sense. Uh, yeah, and I mean, in the other more important sense, we're, yeah. we're rapidly towards blow up the entire seed mode. Trying to cheer for Zaldi a little, because he's had such a rough go at this. Yeah, the, the seed has been quite rough for Zaldi. Really, just like this Mount Ordeals. Yeah. Like, th this is one of the worst found ordeals I've ever seen. And that's saying something, because we had King Queen Eblin up here. Yeah. There was King Queen Eblin, and this is one of the worst ordeals I've ever seen. The first fight was literally free. Still a terrible, awful, no good ordeals. And 
Pancras is done. Uh, it's like 500,000 XP. Uh, over, so yeah. over a million for those two. Yep. Looks not doing like the full, full grind, but uh, we'll get a good amount of levels on Palom and Rosa. Palom's up to psych. Cecil is now level 53. Congratulations, Cecil. And level 50 for Rydia. Um... Yep, she's going to learn all the spells. Except for Medio. Pancras, why didn't you grind Rydia to Medio? I'm disappointed in you. Let Rydia Medio things. Yes, let Rydia do the Medio. I don't care that she needs to be level 60 to learn Medio. Yeah, it's... Look, let, let Rydia Medio. Medio is not the meta at all, and it's not efficient to use in, like, any situation. Well, not any situation. There are a couple of specific situations where it's good to use, but, like... Mostly yes. it does not save time. But I don't care about that. It's cool. Look, if people are going to cheer for Rydia hitting things, I think I should get to cheer for Rydia dropping rocks on things. Yes. I, I very much agree. But I think it might be time to check the element spot for uh, something. Although, it looks like Zelda is going to head down this hook route. Yeah, um, I, I can imagine him not rushing ahead on the, uh, on the known Golvez. Last yeah. Dark Elf. That, that is not a Wyvern or a D-Mist, and therefore Pancras is not going to fight the CPU spot. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah. Although that Dark Elf is not terrible if that ends up being required. Yeah. I guess. Uh, light, light does it get more hit points, though, because it's multiple targets? Ooh, I think it does. But uh, Lightsaber Cecil will probably counter that. Yeah, I think that's not... But e even if it's got more hit points, that's not a slow fight. No. Light lightsaber Cecil will say, Hi, I I'm a level 53 Lightsaber Cecil. And you know what else is holy damage? Medio? Yes! See, we should have grinded ready at a Medio. Yeah. Except we actually shouldn't have, because the dragon form absorbs holy, and the... Uh... Don't want Rydia accidentally healing the dragon for quad nines. Does it absorb it? Yeah, the dragon form absorbs holy, but is still weak to holy weapons. That's so weird. Yeah, they uh, they did a weird thing where the the enemy as a whole is just is weak to holy. But then they just slapped an absorb effect on top of it, like how Ruby does with his ice absorb clip cloak. Oh yeah. So yeah, that that's what the Dark Elf does. I did not know that. That's so weird and so rude. So yeah, don't cast White or Medio on the dragon form of the Dark Elf. You will have a bad time. Well, I'm glad I learned now and not in a race of my own. Yeah, it's never fun to find out that hey, this this. Boss just surprised, just suddenly decided to absorb an element, but only if you cast the spell. And like most of the time, you don't cast the spells. You're just yeah, because and of course you would naturally assume that because it's weak to a holy sword, you yeah. would still be weak. Of course, and because normally the game is pretty good about that sort of thing. Yeah, but no, no, no. It's just, it just decides to be different. Because why not? That sure also, is something. Also, it's Kainazo time. Yes, it is. I see that Tella is having a nice nap. I think that's about the most we could expect from Tella in this fight. Yeah, and seeing some nukes, seeing a cute little lit one. That actually did like 400 damage. Yeah. Not as much as the nuke. Or, or the Holy Sword. Well, yeah, but you can't really 
expect a lit one to do as much damage as a nuke. It's true. I'm just saying it's proof that Palum right now is just not as good as Ridia's. Uh, I would like you to wait until this Ice 3 that Palum has just queued up comes out. But will it get to? This is a good question. Yeah, he's holding turns for it. Yeah, and there's a remedy for more damage than Cecil's dealing. Yeah, no, th th this will hit like a, a truck full of bricks. Meanwhile, let's, let's look at this item management on Pancrazo's part. Yeah. Like, I did look notice at this smooth menuing. Moving that Luca key towards the top might be considering a sealed cave dive in the somewhat near future. Yeah. He could be. Oh, look, it's a Masamune. Neat. Well, uh, that will be good for putting on a wall if you're a nerd. I guess. Um, possum, there's no reason to keep the twin harp at the top. You don't have to select it in a menu. That moving the twin harp to the bottom of the inventory doesn't indicate fading the harp. Maybe, maybe he's writing secret code. So I think landing here indicates that he is going to go straight underground at this point. Yes. But I, I do agree with this play. There is a sparkle at the ruby spot. Yeah, like, at this point, yeah, you really want to go through there, if nothing else, to rule out the option. Yeah, it's a one in five chance that that's a boss that you need. So may as well just do it. And there's the king-queen spot. We don't know who's there. That could be a surprise value. Yeah, like, we do not know that the magma key is not at Twitter Harp, so it could be a, a, one of our bosses here. Our other boss, because we already know where the one is. Yeah. One second. Uh, meanwhile, Zalde has returned to fight Golbez and uh, succeeds. His, his party has expanded now to spell out B Hero Hero I. Truly inspiring. Her. Hmm. Take this time to heal up because she's not gonna do any offensive actions until. Oh, that was a sentence fragment until he does anything. <laughs> yep, that palm's been healed up, ready to help out. And the King Queen Evelyn spot is another sparkle. Oh my gosh. It's oh my happened. gosh. There's a magma key at Twin Heart. And there are pigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love it. So, so if you wanted to have Palum like cast Quake or something or do something cool, sorry. I mean, if there was a ruby ring, uh, could have put that on. Yeah. Incredible. Oh my goodness. I love that it's not the sparkle that we saw that was here. It was a completely the, different sparkle. It's the secret bonus sparkle. This also does tell us the magma key is behind that twin heart. I just realized there's one other place that magma key could be. Th that is true. There, 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 could, there, be could, a, there could be there could be cheeky demist. Yes. Holding that magma key. Or, or the or or package. Yes. Or there could be a further shade of that. Not package. Or... Package came from behind Goldes, so no, not package, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, hey, it's Odo. Everybody's. Favorite boss. 
So this is this is a hook route that exists. I've seen people theorize ugly hook routes before. I've never heard anybody theorize this one. That, that's because Wyvern's not usually allowed to be in a hook route. So it's we don't true. usually include Wyvern in the theorizing. It's true. But in this case, uh, doing the hook route actually looks like it's going to be advantageous here because... Uh, and I... I... If, if I were Pegrudge, I'd be feeling really good about having done all of that leveling already, because... Oh, yes. Wyvern into Ogo Pogo? That's gross. This is not a pleasant fight without leveling. And just like that, Ogo Pogo is done. Ah, and Zoldi gets his Cecil and his package. Yeah. And little does he know, the ugly fights are not- are still ahead of him. I mean, he- he does know about the one of them, because he's already been- Yes. Them, but... He- he knows about the Kinazo, but he does not know yet about the Double Sparkles. Yeah, one of- one of the worst hook routes I've ever seen. I mean, it would be worse if it weren't Witchburn, but... That's how you do with Sea Hero. Yes. The picky is still still pretty rude. It is. Especially like you got you got your Palum, you got your Rydia. Yeah. Uh, they're you, uh, they're powerful and you got a powerful. lot of mages and yeah. then and then hey, they're not allowed to cast spells. But Pancras is underground at the 54 minute mark with a grind already done. Yeah, and... so he's just gonna run, 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 run. Yep, uh, time to mosey on down the to the Fey March. Check out this freebie, see if we can pull a good check. Uh, maybe check the bosses for D-Mist. <laughs> I mean, this has been a bad boss fiesta, so... Yeah, uh, have any of the bosses actually been in good locations? Antlion. Oh my god, that's uh -oh. Edmund. Hey, look, it's half a forge. Neat. Bygan. So, we, need... yeah, we had Bygan at a good location. Oh yes, we did have Bygan at, like, a real good location. And I suppose Antlion as well. Yeah. Um... That's all we need to know that's about that. guards out of the pool, and, uh, one of the ruby... Sprites is also gone. Not necessarily the best bosses to see down there. Yeah, like that's both three sets of guards done. Because uh, I believe we saw... Or am I thinking of a different save? No, we saw the Kaipo guards at the waterfall. Right, right. Uh, but Pancras, it looks like, is going to chase that Wukuki right away. Uh, seems like a good idea, just because, you know, he's leveled now, he knows he can take the fight, and... Th this check gets put off by basically everybody, because... It takes a long time, and... Yeah! There's all these doors in the way, you gotta press buttons to go through them... And what if you wanna keep the doors? They've got XP... Yeah... But Pancras doesn't need any experience here, he can just, like, charge through. Yeah. He's got Rydia, he can warp out if he needs to. Zoldi is going to the whale, or I'm gonna hope he's also just gonna go level because really. Yeah, leveling is kind of a good thing to do. And oh, oh there's the Baron key. That's go <laughs> mode. This is in go mode. Holy, wow.
So yeah, don't don't fade sealed cave. Yeah, and I mean this this holds to my general thought that you know it's wow that's and free. Of it's just free. I, I was gonna say like it's I I uh, I, I tend to really feel like it's good to uh, keep in mind your starting item because. You know, I, I feel like a lot of the time that's going to be a valuable item because it's always there, so the, it's always available to be used by the logic. Yeah. Uh, and in this case, yeah, that starting item was real valuable. Because now all Pancras has to do is go liberate Baron Castle and it doesn't matter what's there. Yeah. It's probably going to be the pass. Yeah. Just, just to make this seat even jettier. Yeah, just, just rub it in a little bit more. Or maybe the Legend Sword. Yeah. Just, just to completely narrow the route. Why not? Although, if it is the Legend Sword, that raises the question. Is it faster to go through Cave Magnus to get the Magma Key? Or is it faster to go through that hook route? That would be an interesting question, because... <laughs> I but think it would I'm... have to be faster to take the music at that point. I am very sad that we're not going to see music from Pancras, at least. The worst part is music was logical underground access, and Pancras just said no thank you. They're, they're both saying no thank you. They're saying no thank you to their logical underground access. I hate it. I put so much work into the randomized harp songs, and this is how I get repaid. Dathus, can you can you tell what you've done to Xenocat here? I mean, they they, they slaved over a hot sequencer to make these songs, and you, I mean, history's greatest monster of a seed roller. I guess we get, still get to hear it at the end, but it's just not the same. It is not the same. Like, I don't I don't necessarily just want to hear the music. I want to hear how the music lines up with Eddie making his slow walk over to the harp. And or, with the sounds of battle. With the sounds of battle and like, see how the fade into Cave Magnus times with everything. Uh, and like, you know, is the boss gonna try and do something to ruin it? Is, is the boss yeah. the true villain? We lose like, all that drama. Yeah, I mean... Also, we just totally talked over Octoman getting microwaved. I mean, that's the Octoman getting microwaved for you. Um, I, I, for one, would i am glad to avoid the subject of microwave squid. Yeah. Uh -huh. Back to talking about the seed for a bit. One interesting thing is, Pancras does not have the big spells on anyone but Rydia. Yeah, and with the jettiness, it means that he's not likely to get that on. He's not likely to get that nuke on Palop. I mean, we could just do second D machine. I think we're gonna do second D machine. <laughs> No, second D machine is an awful idea. Don't do second D machine. Yeah. Uh, just in case you wanted a character, there's there's not one. I mean, these characters are fine. And soon we're, we're about to see what wonderful key item doesn't matter. Yes, what is, what is the item in the barren basement that no one actually cares about? 
but does exist. I mean, what we do know now, is, though, is that the mood is haunted by turtles. Yeah, the, the turtle was the only... I mean, the moon was hard required, but only Cave Bahamut. Yeah. It's the pass! Oh my god. <laughs> we, the seed was not fast enough. We need to go faster. Here's your pass. Don't go back to the moon. I, I would like to introduce to everybody my, my friend Zeta Cat, who is about to be burned at the stake as a witch. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm I just I'm just speculating. Uh, oh, Pierce is taking the time oh. to rename. Oh! Oh I know why this is happening. Everyone else had Z's a dead name, yes. A dead name. So Fancraft is taking the time to rename Rosa to match that name up. They're caught. And I think Pancras is just ready to go. I, I think so. I mean, 51 uh, Rydia, 54 Cecil, that's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. 47 Pelum, that's... Slap a ninja uh, hat on him, that should be good, I think. He can do some things. Yeah, uh, assassin dagger. I think that should do it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that'll put him over twenty-eight. Yeah, just want to make sure he's at a good, a decent agility value. Yes. So I, I see everybody in chat putting out these flags, respecting Pancras's uh, renaming scheme. Yes, I, I appreciate this. Everyone's just so excited about that renaming of Rosa. Yeah. Clearly. There's there's no other joke to be made here. Yeah. So just out of curiosity, I mean, what is your opinion on the changing nature of the butt? I, I really like it. I think Scala's done an amazing job with all of the various sprites that can show up here. Uh, but I do feel like there is a question that needs to be asked. Yes, yes. So whose butt are we gonna kick today? Is that butt cute? Does it even have a butt? How many butts does it have? This is a good question. I have not asked that before, but... I, I have seen, like, just the other day, like, Cold Wabbity Sprite, there's a dog in it with him. That's... that's two butts. It is. We have two That's butts. Two butts. Truly, we we've been blessed by an assassin. And if I explain that joke, I'll be thrown off. <laughs> We've got Adam and Eve from uh, Nier Automata sitting around in their shirtless glory. Yep. Uh, that counter nuke hit probably the best target in Tella. Ah, uh, I mean, that's... He, he's in really good luck with the targeting today, and just in general, like that Rosa uh, yeah. making it through on the Mega Sisters, letting him one-shot that. Which, like, that that was, you know, the first pebble in an avalanche. Yeah, no, all of these, all this luck has really been on Pancras's, in Pancras's favor. The seed just, just wants to go as fast as possible. It's true. But only if you get through Maga Sisters at back attack. As soon as and you get through Maga Sisters at back attack, the seed says, "Here you go, 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 beat me. You win." Oh, there, there's also the palum through the CPU. Oh yes, that that was also a little rude. The gold is into a Sarah Tau. Yeah. 
Well, technically we didn't need to do gold best into a Sura, but it, but it was probably good to do. Yeah. Oof, there is a wipe, unfortunately, not getting that heal before that big bang came out. Rosa would have gone down there. Yeah, and no good way to not back up. I think we're reevaluating the agility situation and then setting up Cecil to go faster than Pelham. Yep. Zoromus is a jerk. It is. He is, and the he, and Penny Price is really making clear one of the other things about agility that it, it's important to, to note, because most of the time you're only setting your agility relative to the enemy, uh, but for some fights you really want to pay attention to your agility of the, your other parties, party members relative to their anchor, because that's where, you know, a couple points uh, can be what you need to try and... Uh, you know, get your uh, turns coming out in the way that you want them to. For sure. I like agility. Agility is fun, but it's math, and a lot of people don't like math. Math will be good to you if you are good to math. I agree. So, hug, hug your anchor's agility today. Yeah, I think the main problem in this case was that with Palom with all the agility boosting your Palom, even though he was just breaking that 28 threshold, there wasn't anyone else other than Cecil that was faster than him. Yeah, that can, that'll do it. Like, this, that, that kind of skew uh, is not ideal. Like, you really yeah. want people to be close to each other in terms of agility on this fight. Um, yeah, so unless taking... there's something that you want to completely shut out of getting turns. <laughs> yeah, so taking that gear off and spreading it out will make Cecil take a lot more turns relative yeah. to Talon. And it will all, even though Zoromus will get a bit faster, Cecil will now be taking a lot more turns. And even Rosa and Radio will be able to take a lot more turns. Yeah. And if you really wanted to skew things even more, you could drop a cursed ring onto that Tello, which would effectively remove him from, uh... Yeah. But this but should be But didn't find the cursed ring, so... It's true. And we do want Tello to take at least one turn to use that silk web. Not such a lucky landing this time. No, uh, but Palum does survive. Probably not going to survive a Big Bang, though. However, Palin, not the character with Duke, so I don't think it's that important for him to live or not. Like, the Ice Threes are gonna help. Yeah, the Ice Threes are nice. Not essential, but they're nice. Yeah. Like, you want him to live, but... Tell also helping by healing Palin. And hey, Thanks, it's... Tella. If it's single target, doesn't matter how good you are at casting. Yep. Rosa getting a bonk in there. Thank you, Pancras, for letting Rosa hit things. Rosa's very good at hitting things. Yes. Uh, maybe not quite as good at Cecil, as Cecil, but she's not terribly bad. Yeah, and I mean, can anybody be as, like, both hit things and heal things as well as she does? I, I don't think so. See, that's the important thing. Rydia, or not Rydia, Rosa, can hit things and heal them. I guess Rydia can also hit them and heal them. 
that uh, Rosa can always heal things, not just two doors at a time. Yeah, her healing is consistent. But Rydia's heal goes through wall. That's true. But right now, Rydia's healing is... She's, she's a nuclear medicine. like adjusting Q positions there with that new yep. that's the other thing too about this fight with with agility is you want to have you you, you really want to be in known known and comfortable ranges so you can do things like you can easily tell uh how long a a tick generally is so you can more easily insert uh what you want to do, what you want to do it. Yes, this is very important. <laughs> it, the fight generally does not go very smoothly when you are scrambling to try to get all your turns in, and you're not exactly sure when things are happening. Yeah. Like, ideally, you know, you, you want to know what a character is going to be doing before their turn pops up. Because for this, you know, you want to move quickly. Ideally, uh, you also know want to know which character's turn is going to pop up. Yes. Which is why having uh, some of our, like, a lower agility setup can be so valuable, because you can get a very reliable turn order. Yes, uh, and that, of course, can be huge. Um... Because it, it tends to be fairly consistent at, at the lower ends. Uh, um, at, at the higher agility range, it's if there's more targets available, things can get a bit wibblier. Yep. But uh, generally, uh, e even then, if you still know what you're looking for, it can still be predictable, but most of the science has been done on lower agility. So, uh... Yes. Uh... Zalem is now taking a nap. I, th I think his job is done for the day. What a job he's done. Took this down a... Yeah, he broke a computer. Yeah. He was a great hero. Yeah. He broke a computer all by himself. Yeah, and I mean, usually I need help with that. Uh, the media phase. Uh, oh, we're, we're at rocks. Neat. I think we're just waiting for. Oh no, we're dropping another star veil just to, just in case. Just in case Radio gets to toss some things. I think she. Uh, although she she's not going to because that is GG. Wow. Empress is. Pancras has just finished this race in first place with a time of 1 hour, 15 minutes, and 36 seconds. Wow. GG, Pancras. GG. Yeah, and we'll see if we can get him in here for an interview. Uh, and as I say that, we are joined by Pancras. GG's. Hey, GG's. Thank you very much. Oh, My that was... Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a, a a bit of a jet seed. Uh yeah, sometimes you know you just come back from a quick little grind and everything falls into your lap, and that's <laughs> that's a pretty good summary of what happened this season. Yeah, that was. Where do we even start? Well, that let's, let's try the hook route. Uh, Wyvern into Oko Pogo. Uh, how how glad were you to have already done your grind? Um, it was pretty good. I was, well, I felt really good. I, you know, saw the sparkle initially with Rydia there. I liked the party that I had, so I'm like, let's just knock this out of the way. I know that if it's Ogo or Pale Dim or D Lunars in the second spot, and this is my logical undergrad access, I'm gonna want some bubbles. And if it's not my logical undergrad access, that's a sparkle, and I wanna check it. So, 
you know, went and got my levels, came back, and I wasn't expecting the second sparkle. Uh, seeing it was Wyvern it was, though, a uh, really nice find. It, you know, I knew about the dirty or the double in Cave Bahamut already, so having three objectives there, it, it made me feel really good about uh, making my decision to go back to Earth instead of blowing up the moon. Yeah, and that decision just further compounded when, I, I mean, the second check you did underground paid off with the Baron key. Yeah, and the first one was half a forge. It, it was yeah. just everything came <laughs> together <laughs> very <laughs> quickly. Hey, everything coming up Pancras. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I'm, it was weird. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed that the seed put logical underground access in music, and then you didn't do it. Oh, well, don't worry. Music will be coming in a little bit after I, uh... Yeah. You know, let the... Yeah, let after the, the spoil. Yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, have... it, was, it, it was nice to know, though, that uh, Twin Harp was a dead check at that point. Didn't have yes. to come yeah. back for it. I knew that... Well, I knew that it could be Baron Key leading to Magma Key, so it wasn't that... entirely dead, but it was kind of dead. Yeah, it was like, oh, this is probably not going to be value. It's not going to lead to half of Forge at the very least. Yeah, and with the wyvern out of the way, I knew that it couldn't be in the basement. The only way that it could still be like I have to go to music is if Demist is there with half the forge. Yes, it could have yeah. been a Demist there or in Baron Castle with Baron Key there, and then Magma in Baron. Yeah, but that's the that, weird things like that. Yeah, but that's not likely. Yeah. No, 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 it's it, that just had Magma Key right there. And then, you know, Baron Castle is in Luca Key, or the Baron Keys in Luca Cave, and it's got the pass, so, you know. Yeah. I worry about the, the seed just decided you wanted to go as fast as possible. Apologizing for that Mount Ordeals, I think. Yeah, that, that's probably what it was doing. Yeah, the Ordeals was interesting. <laughs> I mean, seeing the Maga <laughs> Sisters made me feel really bad about not saving, and then I got lucky and the Ice 2 hit Palin. So then I, you know, I was so good lucky. enough to kill Mindy. I knew with Elvin, Mute, Rosa, if I didn't have the Elven bow on ordeals, then I don't think I killed Mindy in that one shot. But <laughs> I, it was it was a good bit of luck and a good bit of, you know, kill the right one and hope for the best. And it, it worked out. And yeah, like the CPU it, almost ruined me right afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was amazed how you got that virus off. Like, whew. Yeah, with, with the three entities and the very low agility of that spot, I figured we we're probably going to be able to get a virus off on the body. And if I don't, then I'm going to look like a fool. But no, we got to go. You did it. And... Yeah, it, it worked out. And that made that fight just so much faster for you. Because you and Zelda were basically neck and neck until Zelda had worse luck on that Magus Sisters fight. And then also had a little bit of a struggle with the CPU because he did not get virus. Yeah, he didn't take that water hag. Gotcha, skipped it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, with Palom, I really like doing every single overworld spot I can because that way you get virus on the back attack spot as long as you don't hit, like, two things that are reduced experience. Yeah. And hit one, that's kind of reduced experience. Like, Dark Elf is fine, Golbez is... Yeah, yeah. Goldness, but you know it's fine. But like, Mom Bomb throws a wrench in the works. Lugay throws a wrench in the works. Um, Gauntlet in the wrong spot throws a wrench in the works. Gauntlet in the right spot throws a you know removes a wrench from the works. I don't know the yeah. of the expression. <laughs> yeah, gives uh, you a, gives you a screwdriver. Yeah, 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 there we go. That, that'll work. But yeah, having virus there was really nice, and I always like to do as many checks as possible with that sort of clockwise routing with Palum for that reason. Yeah. Um, with yes. a yeah. Palum hero, doubly so, so that way I can just virus the Ordeals 3 fight. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... Oh, and Gauntlet at Tower Top with the Legend Sword. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I, I, somehow I don't think foraging was faster than doing anything else. You know, I get the impression that maybe not, especially because you don't get to pass that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unless you take the logical underground access. Uh, true. Yeah, because then you wouldn't but, get your. Because uh, cool then you don't wyvern. get your wyvern. But like, who takes the logical underground access? Yeah, right. It's no fun. Yeah, I'd rather, much rather, just you know, blow up a hook route when I'm level fifty. 
Yeah, that's, that's the best way to take the hook route. Yeah. I don't often like to, you know, just flee the hook route and grind, because usually I can get through a lot of things there, but with level 1 Cecil and a Sparkle, I figured... <laughs> Let's, let's just <laughs> add the seed, two big shot targets. Yes, like, the seed hand to level one Cecil and level one Radio. Yeah, yeah who am I to disagree? Yeah. But yeah, uh, congratulations <laughs> on your win and Thank you very advancing much. to the round of 16. Uh, what are your thoughts on just how things have been going so far? I've um, been very happy with my play throughout the tournament so far in qualifiers and in this round of the last, and I'm hoping to continue playing well into the round of 16 and beyond. Uh, been got a little a little lot lucky in this one, <laughs> but you know, glad to come away with the win, and hopefully I can uh, keep it going. The tournament's been an absolute blast so far really love to see hero flag and all the little challenges that it provides and just well, i just want to keep playing some free enterprise yeah and yeah like i i think uh you know it's the sea hero flag really does show off a lot of little the little quirks you get and i think just watching how you were adjusting your turn flow for the second attack on uh Zorobus there that was that was really neat too just seeing how you were doing that yeah, the first attempt went off the rails very quickly when Rosa didn't get my second action, so I didn't have even, or at BS2, not having Cecil zerked right at the gate meant a lot of ticks were dropped, and yeah, yeah, I, I it. you saw me throw out the direct nuke with Rydia to try and phase tip before the big bang came, and it was just a little shy because I didn't have enough damage coming out. But we got him the second try. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's and the important it's... Thing. Oh, there was an edge in this seed. Oh, oh, six characters. Neat. Yeah, if if you manage, if you decided to fight through Dark Elf and Mylon and friends in the giant, you get edge. And that's exactly what you want—the guy who can steal sirens. Yeah. That's how you've got all that XP. Well, I mean, now you can get Palum to nuke, unlike me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he can swing that Masamune from K value. Oh, yeah, that's right. Actually, I mean, Tella's job is pretty much done, uh, but no, that's just, he, he's going home. So long, Edge, and so long to all of you on um, the broadcast tonight. Thank you very much for putting it on, but I've got to go and get some dinner. Yep. Uh, uh, looking forward to listening back to the commentary. Zeno and Neon, I'm sure that is amazing. Thank you, Dathis, for the restream for the seed, and thank you, Angie Dave, for the tracking. Looking forward to watching it back and seeing all that you and Chad have to say. Yep, thanks for running for us. It was a pleasure to watch you. Of course, see you again. Yeah. Thank you. You all have a good rest of the night. You too. That was Pan Kraus, uh, our winner tonight. Uh, I feel like I should be quiet because there's music happening. And it's going to be happening, I guess, until he's gone. But it's a, such a good song, too. I guess we can talk softly over the music, but that's fine. It's also not one of my songs, so I'm not like... It's from super... my favorite Final Fantasy. Listen, I'm not saying it's a bad song. It's just not one of mine, you know? It's true. I, I anyway, can... if, if you want to hear a really good version of the song, those of you in the crowd, uh, check out the one from the Pixel Remaster. Sorry, I, I interrupted you. No, it's fine. Anyway, uh, Zelda is now taking on Cape Value. Hooray, objectives! Yay! Elm does have Nuke, so this. This itself should be much faster, because we've got... We've got Nuke, yes, but we've got second Nuke, too. I yeah. Well, once that Pelham is alive, anyway. Uh, Rydia has a lot of hit points. I think Rydia might have the rocks. Oh. I I'm not confident, 
but please Ritka. Please Ritka. She she might be able to do the medio. Please Ritka. Just a little medio for us. And that's two objectives down right there for Zaldi. Yep, and a Masamune in between. For that edge that he just got rid of. Yeah, hey. Oh, nope, that Ridia does not have Meteo yet. I don't think. Okay. She's only level 56. <sighs> Still got four levels to go. Wait, or is it? Is it fifth? Oh no, Zaldi! No, 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 not the moon! Oh, no, 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 Zaldi! No! Uh, I was There's gonna no wonder about chase spells, her. but if you know, um, wait, once we're done this, she'll have them no matter what. Yeah, I, I think she'll get Meteo from the moon. I mean, it makes perfect sense to do this. Uh, it's yes. just not correct. But we will get to see what... <laughs> what we've got down here. Oh my goodness, this, this walk down the lunar subterrain. I mean, at least Zelda won't have to come back here. Hopefully. If he does the Baron key and not the forge. Yeah. Because cause he'll get the pass. And it'll be okay. Oh, everything will be okay. Everybody loves the ribbon spot. Oh, look, it's the it's at the ribbon spot. Yeah, you could have done a life two grind. You could do a life two grind right now to get rid of Meteo. Yeah. I don't see why not. Let's do a life two grind to get rid of Meteo. That seems like a worthwhile use of time. Yes, it's especially two, three, four, five key items for a life two grind. Perfect. Coward. Gosh, not even doing a life two. Only getting a hundred thousand experience from this fight. Ugh. Well, there's an Excalibur and a pan. That pan's got the spoon and something else that I forget. Earth Crystal, I think. Yeah. And oh, there's... there's... <laughs> Just some dolls. Neat. So even though we used up a bunch of free on the blue planet, it turns out there was still some free left over. You get some free. You get some free. Everybody check under your seats. It's free. 
Ah, Rydia throwing a toad up on the uh, cows, I think? Uh, it... That'll prevent them from transforming as Palum uh, queues up a Meteo to take out all these dolls. But I believe after this fight, we will be sending y'all over to cheer on Zelda directly as he finishes up this seed. Yes, and you, you, and, you know, he'll be on emote only, obviously, so you can cheer in the form of emotes. So make sure you use all of your Rydia emotes paired with Rock's emotes so we can communicate to him 15 minutes in the past. Yes. Uh, the, uh, the need for Rydia to get Meteo. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need to tell him that he needs to get Rydia to Meteo. This is the, this is the most important priority, but yes, don't, do not spoil things. Go cheer him on. Yes. And you show off all your good emotes because it is going to be emote only. Make sure you're not accidentally spoiling in emote form. Uh, send Zaldi everybody's love. Oh, there's D Mist. That's a terrible spot for D Mist. Anyway, we will conclude this D Mist fight over on Zaldi's stream.